In this video, we will do further problems from exercise 3.6. Question number 8. Prove that sin 4x plus sin 2x divided by cos 4x plus cos 2x is equal to tan 3x. We'll be using these two formulas for solving this problem. So let's take the numerator of left hand side which is sin 4x plus sin 2x. Let's use this formula which is sin x plus sin c plus sin d replacing c with 4x and d with 2x. So this becomes 2 times sin 4x plus 2x divided by 2 into cos 4x minus 2x divided by 2. So that's equal to 2 times sine 6x by 2 is 3x and cos 2x by 2 will be x. So let's call this 1. And the denominator of the left hand side which is cos 4x plus cos 2x. Let's use the second formula here cos c plus cos d. So our c is equal to 4x and d is equal to 2x. So this becomes 2 times cos 4x plus 2x divided by 2 cos 4x minus 2x divided by 2. That is equal to 2 times cos 3x cos x. Let's call this 2. So from 1 and 2, left hand side is equal, which is our sine 4x plus sine 2x divided by cos 4x plus cos 2x is equal to 2 times sine 3x cos x divided by 2 times cos 3x cos x from 1 and 2. Cos x and cos x will get cancelled. So you're left with and 2 and 2 will cancel. So sin x, sin 3x by cos 3x is tan 3x. That's equal to R H S. hence the proof. Question number 9. Prove that 1 plus cos 2x plus cos 4x plus cos 6x is equal to 4 times cos x, cos 2x, cos 3x. So we'll be using these two formulas here. So let's take the left hand side now. And let's first take 1 plus cos 6x. So this is in the form of 1 plus cos 2 times 3x. So let's use this formula here. So if cos 2a, a is equal to 3x, then this expression will be equal to 2 times cos squared 3x. So let this be 1. Now let's take the remaining two terms which is cos 2x plus cos 4x. So cos 2x plus cos 4x will be equal to using the first formula here. Our c is equal to 2x and d is equal to 4x or we can actually make c to be 4x and d to be 2x. So this will become 2 times cos 4x plus 2x divided by 2 into cos 4x minus 2x divided by 2. So that's equal to 2 times cos 3x cos x. So this can be 2. So from 1 and 2, our left hand side which is equal to 1 plus cos 2x plus cos 4x plus cos 6x can be rewritten as 1 plus cos 6x plus cos 2x plus cos 4x will be equal. Substituting the values from 1 and 2, it becomes 2 cos squared 3x plus 2 times cos 
3x cos x. Now we can take 3x which is a common term outside. So this becomes 2 times cos 3x within bracket cos 3x plus cos x. Now again using the first formula here and having our c to be 3x and d to be x, this becomes 2 times cos 3x into within bracket 2 times cos c plus d which is 3x plus x divided by 2 into cos 3x minus x divided by 2. So that is equal to 2 times 2 is 4, 4 cos 3x into cos 4x by 2 will be cos 2x, cos 2x and cos 2x by 2 will be cos x. So that's equal to rearranging them. This is 4 cos x, cos 2x, cos 3x which is equal to our right hand side, hence the proof of the given problem. Question number 10. Prove that sin theta by 2, sin 7 theta by 2 plus sin 3 theta by 2, sin 11 theta by 2 is equal to sin 2 theta, sin 5 theta. The formulae that we will be using here are these two. So let's apply the first formula on to the left hand side of the problem, given problem. So the first part of the problem here is sin theta by 2 sin 7 theta by 2. Let C be sorry let A be 7 theta by 2 and B be theta by 2. So then this becomes using the first formula half into cos 7 theta by 2 minus theta by 2 minus cos 7 theta by 2 plus theta by 2. So that is equal to half of cos 6 theta by 2 would be equal to 3 theta and minus 8 theta by 2 would be 4 theta cos 4 theta. Similarly, the second part of the given problem is sin 3 theta by 2 sin 11 theta by 2. Now taking a to b 11 theta by 2 and b to be 3 theta by 2 and applying the first formula here this becomes half into cos 11 theta by 2 minus 3 theta by 2 minus cos 11 theta by 2 plus 3 theta by 2 that's equal to half of cos 8x 8 theta by 2 would be equal to 4 theta minus cos 7 theta. Let this be 1 and let this be 2. So from 1 and 2, our left hand side is equal to half of cos. 3 theta minus cos 4 theta plus half of cos 4 theta minus cos 7 theta. So further simplifying this, this becomes, you can take the half outside, cos of 3 theta minus cos 7 theta the minus 4 theta here and the plus 4 theta here would get cancelled. Now let us apply the second formula onto this cos 3 theta minus cos 7 theta. So that is equal to you have a half here keep that as it is into 2 times sin c plus d so that is 3 theta plus 7 theta divided by 2 
into sine d minus c which is 7 theta minus 3 theta divided by 2. The 2 and 2 will get cancelled. So you are left with sine 3 plus 7 would be 10. 10 divided by 2 is 5. So this is sine 5 theta into sine 4 theta by 2 would be 2 theta which is equal to sine 2 theta sine 5 theta which is equal to or rh s hence the proof of the given problem question number 11 prove that cos 30 minus a cos 30 plus a plus cos 45 minus a cos 45 plus a is equal to cos 2a plus 1 by 4 let's take the left hand side and let's take cos 30 minus a and cos 30 plus a first so cos 30 degrees minus a into cos 30 degrees plus a. Applying the formulas of cos a plus b and cos a minus b onto this. So first cos a minus b. The second one here. So cos 30 minus a will become cos 30 degrees cos a within bracket plus sine 30 degrees sine a times cos the first problem I mean uh, formula cos 30 degrees cos a minus sine 30 degrees sine a so this is equal to this is in the form a plus b into a minus b so this is nothing but cos squared 30 degrees cos squared a minus sine squared 30 degrees sine squared a which is equal to our cos 30 is root 3 by 2 so root 3 by 2 the whole squared cos squared a minus sine 1 by 2 sine 30 is 1 by 2 so it's 1 by 2 squared sine squared a further simplifying this becomes 3 by 4 cos squared a minus 1 by 4 sine squared a let this be 1 now let's take the second part which is cos 45 minus a and cos 40 plus 45 plus a so cos 45 degrees minus a into cos 45 degrees plus a is equal to using the same two formulas this becomes cos 45 degrees cos a plus sine 45 degrees sine a times cos 45 degrees cos a minus sine 45 degrees sine a so again this is in the form a plus b into a minus b so this becomes cos squared 45 degrees cos squared a minus sine squared 45 degrees sine squared a and that's equal to cos 45 and sine 45 is 1 by root 2 so this becomes 1 by 2 cos squared a minus 1 by 2 sine squared a. Now this will be our 2. So from 1 and 2, oh, left hand side is equal to 3 by 4 cos squared a minus 1 by 4 sine squared a plus 1 by 2 cos squared a minus 1 by 2 sine squared a. So further taking the common terms for cos squared 3 by 4 plus 1 by 2 cos squared a take the minus here 1 by 4 plus 1 by 2 sine squared a will be equal 
two five by four cos squared a minus three by four sine squared a. Let's rearrange this as you have a five by four cos squared a, so you can rewrite that as cos squared a and plus 1 by 4 cos squared a okay then let's bring this minus 3 by 4 sine squared a here and let's add and subtract with a quarter sine squared a minus sine squared a okay next we can rearrange this as cos squared a minus sine squared a which is you have this term and this term together to make it sine squared a so that's here and you have a cos squared a here. So now you're left with plus 1 by 4 common, and you have a sine squared a, which is this term here, and you have another plus cos squared a. We know that sine squared a plus cos squared a is equal to 1, and cos squared a minus sine squared a is cos 2a. So Let's replace this becomes cos 2a plus 1 by 4 into 1. That's equal to cos 2a plus 1, which is equal to our right hand side. Hence the proof of the given problem. Thank you for watching Math Tutorial Anand. Please like and you can comment if you have any questions. And do not forget to subscribe to get more videos like this.